Hi, I'm Jim Wilhelm. This building once housed the fire department and the city hall for the town of Pontiac. But after they moved to a new facility, they used the extra space to bring in some new attractions. One of them was the Route 66 Hall of Fame. Inside displays and memorabilia highlight some of the businesses and individuals who made their living providing services along the Illinois portion of Route 66. The cases began with those located in the Chicago area and worked their way to the Chain of Rocks Bridge near St. Louis where Route 66 crossed the Mississippi. It's here that we learned about three Hall of Fame stories that are intertwined. It began with Gordon Gunderson, who actually helped build a section of the original road. Years later, he and a crew moved a horse-drawn streetcar from Kankakee to his home in Gardner. There it was used as a diner until 1939, and then it was moved again and became a summer home. Later, it would move once more, this time behind the Riviera, which is another Hall of Fame member. The Riviera had opened in 1928 by Jim Girat and his wife. For a time, it was the only restaurant between Joliet and Pontiac. It was a full service stop, gas, dining, camping, and a live band at night. There was even a park with a small zoo. Here in Pontiac is the old log cabin gas station and lunchroom built with cedar telephone poles in 1926. Years later, when Route 66 was realigned and passed behind the building, the owners jacked up the lunchroom and turned it around to face the new road. And that's what a lot of these stories are about, the entrepreneurial effort of families and individuals who made their living along the shoulders of Route 66. One of those stories is of Ed Walmeyer and his wife, Virginia. He was one of the first creators of the corn dog, which he called the Krusty Kerr. His wife suggested a more inviting name, the Cozy Dog, and even designed a logo for the new business of two hot dogs hugging. The restaurant, located in Springfield, is still open today, but the name Waldmeyer goes beyond Springfield in Route 66 history. Their son Bob would immortalize a lot of the people and places along Route 66 in his art. During the summer, he traveled the route of the old road, living a nomadic life in his 1972 Volkswagen van, which was his office, his workplace, and his home on the road. Today the van's interiors remain just as he left it, with all its modifications and memorabilia. Surrounding his traveling home are examples of his artwork, finely intricate postcards and maps which he sold around the country. He even created a map mural for the museum. But that's not all of Bob's works on display here. As I mentioned before, his van was his traveling residence. He spent the winter in Arizona in a house inspired by an ad from 1916. That ad was for a road yacht and it fired Bob's imagination so much that in 1987, he bought a used school bus. He then spent months converting it into his home which is now on display behind the Hall of Fame. His office was behind the driver's seat. Above, he cut a hole in the roof and added a loft for his bedroom. He lived an eco-friendly lifestyle that was off the grid. Solar panels on top gave him power. Rainwater was collected from gutters into the barrels for later use. Heat was from a wood-burning stove, and he used a waterless toilet. It could be said that Bob was the embodiment of the independent, freewheeling spirit of Route 66, where people could create their own niche. Welcome back to Pontiac and the most photographed mural in town. It's on the back of the building where we began our tour, a museum which archives the people and the places in Illinois, which makes Route 66 the road to travel. Theirs are just a few of the stories that can be found here. Above, the museum preserves the history of sacrifices by individuals in name of freedom and country. And there's also life in the 40s, reminding visitors of life on the home front. For more information about the places we visited in Pontiac, contact the Pontiac Tourism Office at 815-844-5847. Or go to their website at www.visitpontiac.org.